I just got back from North Carolina and uh, Skipsy wanted to go grocery shopping so she she says meet me at the grocery store so because we're just cool like that this is our excitement for the week is to go grocery shopping so we're at the grocery store and uh, we're getting our we're getting our lunch meat stuff she she says to me she says oh by the way you got a yapo and she's got her purse with her and she pulls out of her purse this package that I got <clears throat> take a look at that big star cigar star I got me a yapo so I figured I don't know who's the last person that did a yapo in a grocery store you remember? Has, who, who was last? Per- oh, nobody has ever done a yap on a grocery store? Well, I guess this is a first, isn't it? Uh, here, will you do me a favor? Yeah. Will you hold on to this for me? Just hold that right there. Good. Thanks. What is it? Am I doing it right? You're good. I'm going to open it up. What is it? You think it's a toy? I'm asking everything. You think it's candy? I bet it's a tobacco portion. Duly noted. Boomtar, thanks for being a friend of the shop and for What's being a say, great... Heaven? Auto cat? Oh, yeah. What? I heard that. Oh, advo- advocate. <laughs> <laughs> that, that friends is a V, advocate. That still doesn't <laughs> even make sense. <laughs> Being a great advocate for the YouTube pipe community. Enjoy the new blend, Delta Mojo, Big Star Crew, Tony B, Papa P, and Crossroads Grid. Whoa! Whoa, I'm getting some Delta Wow! Look at I got that. some Delta Mojo. Ooh, Delta Mojo. I'm going to be smoking something today. Delta so, thanks Delta. guys for uh, Tony S- B, Papa P, and Crossroads Grid. You're gonna smell. Hey, you want to smell some of this? But she, she, she look at look at the look on her face. Look at the look on her face. My arm hurts. Yeah, <laughs> I can I can tell she's loving the smell of this. It's Before very Latakia heavy. I can tell already. There's lots of mojo mm. in that Delta. Hey Dad. Here. Hey Dad. Smell that. What, buddy? You're gonna smell the Jojo. Jojo, Jojo. It actually smells pretty good. Han Solo is on the floor. Han Solo's on the floor. But it's not my cup of tea. It's, uh, <coughs> I need to get Han Solo for you. It's not even my bowl of tobacco. There you go. Here's your Han Solo. Here. How's the kids like it? Smell it. What do you think? How's it smell? Do you like it? It smells like campfire. Evan, you want to smell it? How's that smell? Mm-hmm. All right, so that's it for the yapo from the grocery store. We've done a. I know my shirt's got no pockets. I wanted to put it in a pocket. Yeah, no, I have no pockets in this shirt. Pockets, pocketless shirts are not very functional. Anyway, um, so we've done a yapo in the van on the go. Now in the grocery store. In a train store. with a goat in the rain. No, I won't. Right. We'll see you guys. Hey there, YouTube. Uh, Pipe Bean uh, here. Uh, and when we arrived at the Caps, Boontar had a big bag of Delto Mojo from Crossroads and Gray. And I'd seen his videos and been wanting to try it. And he offered me up a sample of it. So when my Savinelli, which is a filter pipe, packed it full. And let me tell you, I'm not a, an English smoker. I am more of an aromatic type of smoker. But I really wanted to try this. So... And I tell you, I think it's changed me. I think Greg, uh, Crossroads Greg, has really hit this one on the head. This is awesome. I think everybody ought to try it, whether you're an aromatic smoker or English smoker or anything. It's got a nice little bit of a, of a, of a bite to it, but not too bad. Um, and it's really good flavor. It's not too overwhelming, not too woodsy. Um, it's just an all-around good smoke. Uh, I could make this probably an everyday smoker.
Awesome. Wow. Definitely going to look at it. That shows a lot. Nice. Yes. Coming from an aromatic smoke. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, so we'll Gene. Here with the Delta Mojo. I'm going to say it gets a thumbs up. It's pretty good stuff. Good deal. Thanks, Zach. Mm hmm. <laughs> and. On YouTube, you are a K Woody kid. That's right. Uh, Howdy, uh, Andrew here. I'm trying some of the uh, Big Star Cigar Delta Mojo. I like it a lot. Just a few puffs into it, and uh, I definitely buy it. It's good stuff. Hey, Greg. David here. Burley Man Forty. Smoking your. Uh, what is it? What is what's it called again, Joe? Delta Mojo. Delta Mojo. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, my real review won't be a whole lot more in depth. Uh, it is very good. It, I can see this being sort of an all-day smoke for me. Um, I'm not picking up. I've, I've heard some guys say there's a little bit, maybe of a, a little, not a bite, a little bit of a kiss, a little bit of a spice to it, maybe. I'm not picking up on that uh, very much, but um, it, it's creamy to me. So I don't know if that's what you're going for. But I'm getting a creaminess and um, a gentle smoke. I'll say that, and I'm enjoying it. So you get this on the market, I'll order me some up. Thanks, Greg. How's it going, everybody? Uh, Life Operations here on YouTube. Smoking some, uh, what's the name of it again, Brother Buttar? Delta Mojo. Some Delta Mojo. I'll preface with the fact that I'm not a professional reviewer, nor am I a real English smoker, but I'll give it a shot. It's very full-bodied, like the nicotine, it really hits you eventually. Or maybe it's my fifth bowl, it's one or the other. Um, I'd say it's the body sort of comparable to Nightcap. I think it's pretty good. The flavor's good. What I like about it, because I'm not really an English smoker, is that the flavor doesn't hit you over the head. It's just a real subtle approach. A little spice, but he's still got that classic English body. It's good. It's tasty. Cool. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And action. This is Dave Johnson, JB80. I'm trying some Delta Mojo in my Meerschaum. I like to try some new tobacco in my Meerschaum. I've got to say the, uh, the bag or tin aroma I thought was more on the kind of ketchup or Virginia side. Um, but you could smell a lot of key in it, so which I do like a Balkan blend. Uh, I don't smoke many of uh, the English blends, but um, the uh, I don't do much of the uh, retro hair or whatever. But I can taste the Latakia in it. It's not overbearing. I have had the uh, my mixture 965. It reminds me of that this is very good. It's got a nice flavor to it. Um, might be something that you know. I mean, I would definitely order some of. It's uh, it's got the the taste of the English, but then it's not, like I said, overpowering uh, like some other Englishes I've had are. So, definitely very good, and I'd highly recommend it. You have to get you some of this. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. Greetings. I'm going to do my own little review of the Delta Mojo. I'm smoking it out of a Meerschaum pipe. Um, I'm not a big English smoker. Uh, I usually prefer the aromatics, and I also happen to be a female. Surprise! So I guess you're kind of getting the female perspective on it as well, or at least my female perspective. So, um, it does kind of have some nicotine kick to it. Um, you kind of got to take your time with it if you're not a big English smoker, I think, probably. Kind of nursed it a little bit. Um, it's got a little bit of that... I'm not sure what it is, what element of the tobacco it is that gives it this quality, but it's almost like a fragrant cologne, is what it reminds me of, as, a, as, as you exhale. It has, it's a very soft note of, of that. I don't know if that's the Latakia or what, um, since I'm not a big English smoker, I'm, I'm not really sure. But I like it. I do like it. It's very understated. It's very soft. Um, it is something that you need to take your time with. It's probably a good pondering pipe to just sit and gently puff away. You know, like down in the Delta where it's really hot. You just kind of got to take your time. It's all laid back. So that's my opinion. Thanks, guys.
Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Big Star Cigar, Papa P and Tony B. My, uh, my sample's about half gone now. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to call and order me some. Well, I've had uh, the Delta Mojo now a couple times in a briar pipe and a couple times in a corn cob. It works very well in both, but I think I'm going to favor it in the corn cob. Just something about smoking some Delta Mojo in a corn cob. Just seems right. It's good stuff, Greg. It's real good. Uh, uh, you can definitely taste the Latakia if you're a Latakia fan. It's there, but it's not. It's not too dominating. It's a very nice, smooth. It's not too dry. It's very. Uh, it's got a nice creamy feel to it. But it's a good balance of sweet and smoky. It's very, very good. So, you don't need to go get you some Delta Mojo. Big Star Cigar. You know what? I'm going to make sure I put their phone number down in the bucket so you can call them up directly. Say, hey, hook me up with some of that Delta Mojo. It's good stuff, guys. Now go get yourself. All right, well, I don't want this video running on forever, so. Again, thanks, guys, at Big Star. Thanks, Greg. I think you did a fine job with this one. Very good. I know I'll be bringing this with me this weekend to Marietta. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys. I won't never be back no more. I said, but when I see this time, I said, my hand trip on your door. You know, little girl, when you get lonesome, you can sit right down and write to me. Back door.